Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here in Frankfurt, Germany at ISC 2019. And today we're at the NEC booth with Oliver Tenner. Oliver, thanks for having me again this year. Well, thanks for coming over to our booth, yeah, Rick. Yeah, Welcome. Well, why don't we start at the beginning for folks who might not know, who is uh, NEC and who do you help in this space? Yeah, so as you know, NEC is actually a Japanese company. We from NEC, Deutschland, Germany. We cover the HPC business in the Hall of EMEA. So and at this show, we are, are again focusing on our Aurora machine, um, which is our own um, development. And uh, as uh, my colleague will explain to you later on, we recently won a very big deal with Aurora uh, because of its high performance and its energy efficiency. Okay, and this is vector computing, right? This is, this is vector computing. And anybody interested in vector computing might also try it out because we do have a hands-on session as well, which is actually quite ongoing. So everybody's happily invited to try out how it feels like to do vector computing on the shelf. So, Rudy, I understand that NEC in Deutschland has won a very significant deal at a weather service here. Can you tell me more? Yeah, the German weather service finally decided to buy a machine from us. It's a vector machine. And uh, the interesting thing might be, why did we win? Yeah. Uh, from the very beginning, we compared the machines. We ran the benchmark on scalar systems and on our Aurora system. And we, at an early point in time, realized that we will be better in terms of real performance per power consumption. So we worked on this and uh, we're hoping it works. We had good indications and in the end it turned out we won. And in the meantime, we know that our estimations were quite correct. There was a power ceiling in one of their uh, compute centers. And we know in the meantime, we could do in some performance metrics, we could do a very good factor, a factor of six, yeah. uh, while others couldn't get there. Yeah. They were yeah. far off. Yeah. So I cannot ultimately know whether there was also a budget limit for the others, but for sure the power limit was on our side. And this is what you would expect a vector computer, this is the theory of a vector computer, it always stated it is more power efficient. In addition, what we did during the benchmark, it was uh, our hybrid concept. You know the weather codes always have something which is called I.O. servers, which is separated MPI processes, yeah. which are doing I.O. with NetCDF and HDF5 and all this, which is not exactly vector code. Yeah. Yeah. With our MPI, we were able to offload this onto the x86 system, which is kind of a front end, which is hosting these machines. And uh, that was an integral part of our, of our strategy. Well, this is great, because being the weather forecast, they only have so much time to compute this yeah. before it becomes a moot point, right? Yes. So uh, the vector computing can step up and do it energy efficiently. That's terrific. Yeah. So congratulations. I would, I would even say if you can do a weather service with operational duties, then you yeah. can do everything else. Well, thanks, Rudy. This is a, a nice, very, very good deal. Yeah. Thank you.